everyone, my name is Rui and today I want to talk a bit about actuarial studies. So I feel like many people haven't even heard of the word actuary at all, let alone consider it or really know what they do. So basically what I want to do is just give a very brief insight into the road to becoming an actuary and what studying it is going to be like at university. So the way I view actuarial studies is that you're essentially trying to get involved with the risk and uncertainty side of business. You'll be drawing concepts from accounting, economics, finance, statistics, and mathematics to build specialized models that will deal with situations in the market that are essentially prone to any form of risk today. Two big examples if you're interested, insurance and superannuation. So going into actuarial studies, you are expected to have a really strong capability at math because actuaries are always pretty skillful at mathematics. But hopefully going out of actuarial studies, you'll be able to see the relationship between business and mathematics and hopefully, to pre hopefully develop an appreciation for business in our world today as well. So as for the road to becoming an actuary, you should know that the road is split into three parts. At university, you'll definitely be completing, completing the first part and hopefully you'll also be completing the second part as well. In part one, you're going to be starting off learning concepts similar to what a typical commerce student does, so the counting stuff, and also a typical statistics student would, so probably stochastic processes, for example. But then you'll eventually start moving on to the specialized models, for example, life insurance models that you'll probably only see an actuarial analyst using. In the second part, you'll be doing things from a more theoretical background, and you'll train you more to think like an actuary instead of just doing some basic computations. And as for the third part, that one I leave for you to discover because you will not typically do that part until you spend, believe it or not, at least two or five years in the workforce. Thanks everyone.